Okay, so back with some updates about our course readings, the ones that are PDFs, and some reminders and general interest, hopefully of interest, stuff for our class. So um, I have uploaded for you in Canvas a PDF with more selections from the Toynbo Cooley. We're not reading the whole thing, but we tackled some of the background stories um, in class yesterday, which would have been Thursday, October the 7th. And for this coming week, we want to wrap up with the Toyn, even though like I could spend the whole semester on the Toyn or the Iliad, like any one of the texts that we've read could get a whole semester, like just that text, right? Um, but what I've uploaded for you for this coming week so far is a selection, like this first opening scene from the Toyn is called the Pillow Talk. And that starts at, like the little numbers, like the page numbers from the text that I'm copying from. It starts on, um, page 52, and we go down to about page 58, and then it says the toying vocally begins, and I skip over the artwork, and um, I skip over, like, some of these, some of the longer pieces of poetry, so there will be some missing words, or not some missing words, but some missing, missing pages. There are words on those pages, so I guess there are also some missing words. Um, but I, I kind of skip around just a little bit, and I've tried to sort of make notes for you in the PDF, like, okay, we're skipping over some stuff here, so that you know it's not just a missing grade. Um, and then we've got pages 65, 66, 67, 68, we skip a little bit, and okay. We get to this long section where Fergus is telling Maeve and Al all about what a cool dude for whom is. But I mean, but like he comes out to meet the Ulster Army. Like that's what happens. That's what precipitates this. He comes out to meet the Ulster Army because, as you may remember, the people like the warriors of Ulster are incapacitated by birthing pains because of the curse that we talked about from the story from last time. So. Kahul comes out to meet the army, and everybody's basically like, WTF. And Fergus spends like many pages explaining WTF. <laughs> because as it turns out, Fergus is currently exiled from the same Ulster court where Kahul is hanging out. So he knows Kahul and has like all this backstory. So like the next several pages are like a giant exposition dump framed as and then Kahul does this other really cool thing. And then, like, you know, he tells the thing, and a couple pages later, and then he did this other thing. And, like, he fanboys Kahul for, like, many pages. So, um, <laughs> I skipped over most of that and gave you just, like, the last little pieces so you can get kind of a flavor for, <laughs> a flavor for what all of these stories kind of sound like. They're pretty much, I mean, like, it's a different scenario every time, but... It's the same kind of deal every time. And I kind of pick up with like the very last little set of, you know, fanboy Kahoom that Fergus is giving them, partly because it is wrapping up this sequence. So like we kind of wrap that up and then head into the next, like we get back into the action of the toy proper. But also because I think it's just, it, it's really telling, like it's revealing, it's kind of indicative of the, feel of these stories that this whole sequence wraps with this scenario in which uh, Kahul is all worked up and they, nobody can do anything with him and he's just running around being enraged and the way that they finally get around this is like they send a bunch of women, young girls really, I mean, that sounds like they're kids. They're not kids, they're like adult women but young ones. Uh, but they send them running out to flash him, essentially. And he's like, ah! And he's so embarrassed that they are, like, they take advantage of his embarrassment and, like, overcome him and dump, dunk him in a bat, vat of water. Like, literally, they give him a cold shower. Um, and it's, like, the most literal interpretation of, dude, you need to chill out. Ever. Um, and it's, it's interesting in terms of, like, how they conceive of, like, heroes and how heroes behave and all that kind of stuff. But it also makes a really interesting contrast, I think, to the way that Achilles is presented and the way that people respond to his behavior, which is also, like, very wrathful and, you know, overstated and stuff, in the Iliad, right? So we're kind of pairing these off against each other, and there's, there's some contrast there. Um, I will also post for you 
a couple of excerpts from later on in the twine, but I wanted to kind of like, I'm trying to put these in little sections for you and then explain in the sections what I'm doing. So this is the first one of those and um, hopefully, hopefully um, it, you'll find it interesting and entertaining and all of that stuff. I really do welcome questions if you have any of them. Like I know the things that I really want you to know about the toy and I know some stuff that people in general will probably need to know to get the most out of it. But like I said in class yesterday, I don't know the things that you are wondering about. And um, one of the really cool things about a literature course is that you, the students, really bring a lot to the table, right? Like you come into class on any given day and I don't know what we're going to talk about. I mean, I know we're going to talk about, or I hope we're going to talk about, whatever reading I assigned for that day, right? Like it's going to have something to do with that. And usually I have like a, some historical context or some information to give you that I hope will help you get your head around it and get a lot out of that text. But I never know what you are going to bring up, what you are going to see in the text and be interested in and want to talk about. And that brings a lot to the table for me. It brings a lot to the table for your classmates. Like you, like your engagement with the material is a big part of what a literature course is all about. So um, if you have, you know, if you're seeing things in the text that you find interesting and want to kind of talk about or explore further, let me know and we can like thread that in and that's part of our discussion as we move along. Okay, I'm going to quit rambling at you and probably go read the toilet again. Um, take care everybody, enjoy your Friday afternoon.